Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Stormworks. Uh, in this one, I was showcasing a new updated SD7080 M or 70M 2 uh, version 1.2, and a new tanker car. Uh, I'll go over all this thing, but let me show you how it's working now. So, I was hoping this camera would sit still. It's not. Why isn't the camera moving? Can't move the camera. Anywho. Sure what's going on. So this is the updated engine unit. So you can see I changed the dials into the new instrumentation panel. Uh, just some cosmetic updates. And as well, a, the electrical panel is now here, so that way you can turn on the fuel pumps and the main circuit breaker. Uh, also, you'll see, you will go to the back, the game's a little bit rainy right now, uh, and you'll see why in a minute. Also updated to a knuckle system instead of the shock absorbers to stay consistent with how the North American trains connect. Um, and now you also, I will pull up the camera and you'll see exactly what's going on here. So unfortunately I can't move the camera while pushing. So right now I am pulling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's about eight cars, and I have one lead unit and two tails, including one in the middle, and they are all working together, including the uh, main brakes as well. So the train brakes will put on for all the cars, and again the independent brake just works for the engine. Now let me show you one of these brand new tanker cars. Tanker cars that I put together just recently. Hopefully it won't fall off. The train is doing 70 miles an hour. If it does, you know, if I, uh, if I take a leap, tumble off to the ground. Oh, um, before I forget, also I added a overdrive button. So uh, in real life, the these only do about 70 miles per hour. In my previous update, I was still doing the meters per second, so once I did the conversion, the train was doing 120. But just to keep the fun high in the game, uh, included the overdrive. So if you, once you click that in the lead unit, it will go back to its original speed, which is around 120. So here is the new tanker cars. Um, I will just disconnected. There. Oh. There it goes. Bye bye. And the, the nice thing is I still have an engine. See if I can apply some brakes here. Oh, oh, missed it. So I do have on these tankers independent brakes. So can push up and you can see the dial for brakes going on and off. Now I did put hoses on each end. Uh, originally I was going to put it up top um, so you had or like if you had to fuel or take it out you know you have to climb up and use the hatch and stuff like that but right now there's not really much up here. I may look at improving this but um, for now just for ease of use, because the hose isn't very long. I wanted it to be able to reach one of the engine units, so if you wanted to fill it up again, basically, it's kind of what I want to look at. So you can see right now we're at 21,984, and uh, also, by the way, these are spawning full, so we're at 106,460. I'm guessing it's leaders in the game. I, to be honest, I actually don't know. So if you do know what 
the default is, if it's liters or gallons, let me know. Much appreciated. So with this, you can, I have a control board here. So we can say hose out, grab the handle, and I did use toggle buttons so that you can, you know, you didn't have to hold it or go back and forth. But it's basically just to reach where the engines fill up is almost the whole thing. Uh, now the tricky part is getting it on here. There we go, maybe a little jump. So we have the... still down now. We have to pump to hose, so that will put fuel in. And I have pump to tanker, so fuel to the tanker. So if I go like that, it'll suck. Well, that tanker's full, so it's not going to take any more. But I can pump to the hose, so then I can see that it's going up, even though this engine's currently using um, fuel. So the neat thing is, since the hoses aren't, I guess, <laughs> unrealistically, is the hose just kind of phase through any, everything. Um, if you're on a long, really long mission to deliver anything, you can, you know, keep diesel flowing into your engine units. You can just connect it. You can daisy chain these if you really wanted to. Um, you know, whatever your imagination is, really. Uh, so anyway, this is the first update to the tanker. Uh, I may, may not change it. Right now, uh, to be honest, I have a feeling that I don't really need to change it. But there is one more thing that I do need to show you about how to fill these. So the easiest way, when you're at a station, you can just connect it in here and you can fill it. And let me show you what I mean by that. So anyway, I'm just going to leave all my little friends there and we're going to go back home. Actually, you know, let's just, uh, let's just take the end unit. I'll spawn back to the workshop a little bit quicker than running around. So let me show you what I mean. How much get how much fuels in this? Oh, I think it's full. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit any in, but oh, I'll do it as an example anyway. So where is this thing's rolling away on me? By the way, my ginger guy is like super strong. He can push those around. Put the brake on. I think it phased through. So now I have to hose in until it pops up. There you are. Okay, so you're on the ground. Hose out. This is why I like with the toggle buttons. It's not sitting there waiting for this to reel out. So easiest way to fuel this is picking up the connector. And oh, pop the hose. Then this would fill up. The other way is you can you can hook it to these, but you need to go match whatever that's doing. So let's say I want fluid to go inside. I say okay, pump the tanker, and this would pump to the hose. Now you can see it's going down. Well, that was going up, so it's full. Anyway, let's move it the other way. It went down, it's already full. So it's a little hard to show because this is already full and that's full, but I think you get the gist of it. Um, anything else? Mm, I was kind of shocked if there was a little wonky. Yeah, just the new knuckles gone in, are in place and a new car so you've seen how to set the brake you've seen how to fill it up um, yeah that's about it I think maybe what I'll show you quickly is the new engine just the startup procedure again so we'll spawn that here there we go So again, starting with your electrical panel, you can turn on the main circuit breaker, turn on the fuel pump, and now you can, you know, whatever lights you want on. Uh, a little other side note is turn on your back lights here. The wheel slip indicator won't come on without it. 
also got the brights, our overdrive. You know, maybe we'll click a do a quick quick drive just to show the overdrive. Get this puppy started up. Again, lock and unlock your doors at the top and bottom. Oh, forward. Breaks off. And with the gear ratio now changed, it's a little bit easier to get going. It doesn't slip as much. So I'll get it to 100% here. Oh, a little slippage. So about 80 with nothing. So if I put in overdrive, I have to bring it back down. Tap it up. Oh, we got wheel slip. And then watching your wheel slip indicator again, as a reminder, have that on. Otherwise, you hear it, but you don't see anything, right? So, let's get this up to speed before I uh, crash into my other locomotives. So, we are full throttle. Doing about 100, almost 120 miles per hour, which again isn't very realistic for these guys. Uh, I think in real life they were set for around 70 miles per hour at full speed. And yeah, that's pretty much all the updates. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.